Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. In this video, we will be discussing about a problem that says your connection is not private and this message comes while opening any kind of website on any of the browser. It can be on your mobile, it can be on your PC or laptop. All right, so there are two different things. Number one, you trust this website. You have already accessed this website before, but now you're having the trouble and getting the message your connection is not private. So in that end, what you can do, First, you can click on advanced and then click on proceed to expired domain. So whatever the website name is, it should be displayed here. You can click on proceed and then it will take you to the website. All right. Now, in case if you do not trust this website, let's say you are opening this website for the first time and you're not sure that which website you're opening. In that case, I would recommend I would just say that do not open such kind of website. OK, because it can be because the website is not being SSL secured, the certificate has been expired or it can be a malicious website even uh, you may get a message that says attackers might be trying to steal your information from this website. And even it recommend do not share any kind of password messages or credit card information. Alright, so if you do not trust this website, if you are not aware of this website, kindly be away, stay away. But if you trust this website and if you feel so that this is not the concern and you are getting this kind of warning or messages just because there is some problem with your computer or browser then follow my simple step first what i would recommend you that you should just clear your browsing data and history and even clear your cookies so for that uh, just click on the three dot at the right and top then click on settings from the left in menu option click on privacy and security then click clear browsing data. It should be checked to basic. Click on advanced time range. Go to all time. Check all the boxes here and leave password and autofill form data unchecked. Then click on clear data and wait until this process has been completed. Once it's been done, next what you have to do, you just need to make sure your time and date has been up to date. OK, you can click at the right and bottom and see that if you're getting the right date, the right time, right time zone and if not then you can go to your settings by making a right click on the windows icon click on settings here you can look for date and time or time and language whichever option you get and then here you can choose the region the right region date and time language okay so this is what you need to make sure that your time date everything is up to date and if this is not the issue then what you have to do next you need to right click on the windows icon then click on run now here you have to type ncpa.cpl then you have to click on ok now here you will see all kind of your network connections so you have to pick the one through which you are connected it can be your wi-fi it can be your ethernet so let's say i'm connected with ethernet so i need to make a right click on it then click on properties then you will see internet protocol version 4 double click on it and here it says use the following DNS server address. So you have to choose this option and in the preferred and the alternate DNS address, we need to either go with Google or Cloudflare. I will leave both IPs in the description. You can choose any one of them. Right now, I will go with Cloudflare. So in the preferred DNS address, you have to type 1.1.1.1 and in the alternate, you have to type 1001. Then you have to click on OK. Click OK again. Now you can close it. Now click on the search box. Type here CMD. Right click on command prompt. Choose run as administrator. Then click on yes. Now here you have to type few command that again you will find in the description. The first command will be IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter. The next command will be NETSH space winsock space reset the third command will be nat sh space int space ip space reset all right and then finally you have to type sfc space forward slash scan now and now you have to minimize it because this will be scanning for all kind of integrity violation and system files so wait until the process has been completed so right now i will minimize it Next, again, you have to click on the search box and type here inetcpl.cpl, .cpl, hit enter. You'll be getting internet network properties. 
now here from the top menu option you have to click on content and in the content you will find here clear ssl state click on it then click on ok and again click on ok now after doing all these things what you will have to do you need to open your black window again and once the verification is 100 percent completed you need to restart your pc all right once restarted check back again that if you are now able to access such kind of website and if yes then you are good to go and still if you have the issues then finally what you will have to do click on your windows search type mmc hit enter then click on yes and you will be getting a console box here here you have to click on file at the left and top then click on add remove snap in now here you have to look for certificates then click on add then choose computer account click on next and then click on finish so now the certificate will be added here you have to click on it then click on ok now here double click on certificates then you have to look for trusted root certification authorities double click on it then here in the object type you have to double click on certificates and then here you have to look for dst root cax3 so you can come to the d section and look for dst root cax3 all right so now what we have to do we need to replace this dst root ca and i believe that this certification file has some problem so we will replace it with a new one so right click on it then click on delete then click on yes once deleted you need to open a website that again you will be getting a link in the description so it will be a google drive link once you open it you have to click on download then click download anyway and this will be downloaded all right so now you have to import this new downloaded file in the new console box over here okay open this console box here from where you have deleted that dst file then from the left hand menu option click on certificates then right click on it hover up to all tasks then click on import then click on next now browse the file that you just downloaded that is dst root file so click on browse i downloaded in download folder here it is so i will select it then click on open and then click on next click on next finish you will be getting a message the import was successful all right now after doing this you just need to restart your pc or laptop and after that you will find that you would be able to open the website and in case it's still if you have the problem then it means the problem is not with your end and there is surely some problem with the website so that's all guys hopefully this solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye